Hey, what's up guys? So I'm having an issue where my printer is failing to extrude. Um, sometimes I don't even get an error code, sometimes I do. And it seems that with a little bit of help, I push in here, whichever slot it is, and it will come out, but sometimes it still stops. Eventually it got worse. So first things first, there are a total, I think of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight screws you need to remove. Top left, right here. Top right in there. This one right here. This bottom one right there. Let me zoom into that. Those two screws where it says how to remove hot end and next to the keep hands off the hot nozzle. Also, like I said, it's gonna be this top screw right here. This one to the right of it. Now, when you go down here near the, um, the actual, where the nozzle goes, there's an empty hole in here and there is one right up top left. Once you do that and you remove these two screws here, this is important, don't forget this. Once you remove these two top screws, and I guess I forgot to mention that there's a, this is where your um, PTFE tube goes. You just literally, since it sits in here, you just pry it off from the bottom. This will come out. Once that comes out, like I said, you can go ahead and remove these two screws and go ahead and just carefully, it's hard to do with one hand, pop this off, put it to the side, and it exposes the extruder wheel and another little extruder wheel that's black. So as you can see, you can see the yellow extruder wheel. There's some filament, some gunk, and this is very, very, very important. So this is what I want to show you guys. So this extruder wheel that's right there has these little notches. They were covered in filament. So what I went ahead and I did is I took a pick tool like this and I gently went inside and I scraped each one by one carefully. Went in a whole 360 because they were covered in filament. So what I'm thinking is it's not allowing the filament to be fully wrapped all the way. And I know it's a tedious job and it takes some time and patience, but once you do that, you're gonna put everything back together and hopefully it's gonna extrude. Um, for some reason, I'm gonna also figure it out, but this lever right here, which is not the filament cutter, but apparently it needs to be tightened somehow pushing towards the right side. And that that is also what causes some tension when the filament's being extruded. Because if this is completely loose, then there's not gonna be enough tension and the filament won't extrude properly. So once you went ahead and assembled everything, you're gonna go into your printer settings, you're gonna go to printer options, you're gonna hit calibration, and you're gonna do a complete calibration. Once that's done, you're gonna take out your print bed, you're gonna wash it with warm water and some dish soap. Make sure it's nice and clean. And you can either go ahead and print out a Venchi or continue printing what you're trying to print out. And it should have resolved the issue. So our calibration is done. We're gonna go ahead and wash the print plate, add some glue, and we're gonna test out what we did. So our print plate is nice and clean. We're gonna go ahead and add some glue. Once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and hit Control, Home. And we're gonna to attempt to reprint what we failed to print. So if you haven't already, you go ahead and replace this little black rubber piece that goes over the nozzle, and go ahead and replace the nozzle if you have another nozzle. Um, that way you can rule out that it's not the nozzle. But as you can see, some filament just came out, meaning that it's working. Prior to doing this, no filament came out at all. As you guys can see, filament's finally coming up. The real test is going to be once it prints. And we have success. As you guys 
you can see the piece printed out just fine they're obviously extruded and hopefully i shouldn't have any more issues so if this video helped you guys out please please leave a like and a comment i really appreciate it